So here, there's two types of cards that are available, solar and lunar. So you can see like there's a sun here, that means it's a solar card. You can only equip two solar cards and four lunar cards. So let's say I equip this and this. And then now for the solar, I can equip up to four and you can unlock these two by leveling up your character level. And something to note that is there are these elements here and for each stage there is a different element so for example when i go into battle and go to core hunt you can see here that these elements if you have sapphire and pearl you can have some sort of advantage so be sure to check out for the elements in each stage which ones have an advantage another aspect of building cards is the level ascension so when you click on here every 10 levels you need these special special materials to be able to ascend you can get them by opening ascension crystal boxes which you can either buy exchange or get from daily missions or events and you can exchange how many amount you want another source is by going to the bounty hunt which is open 24 7 and beat these levels for some of these drops Another aspect is ranking up. You can rank up when you get fragments. So there are a few ways to get fragments. The first way to get fragments is by getting a duplicate. So when you go to the wish section and you make a wish, if you get a duplicate, the card you will get will turn into 30 fragments of that card. It might change depending on the rarity, but the concept is the same. Another source you can get them is from the Galaxy Explorer. So here in in the Galaxy Explorer, you can get three three-star cards, four star to five star, depending on which type of galaxy you're exploring. And you may get some fragments. You can get them 10 at a time. So don't worry about not being able to keep gachaing all the time to get fragments because you can get them through a variety of sources. The last aspect is protocore. You unlock this at around chapter 3 or 4 and when you do, this is basically like equipment and it is very heavily luck based because when you look here, they have different stats and you have to maybe do rerolls or just keep beating stages to get the stats you want. So I recommend focusing on the talent here. So the talent here mainly focuses on attack. So what you want is to raise the attack rating. And you can get these protocores by playing the core hunt right here. And you can get these specific types of protocore. They are correspondent to the element that each card is. So be sure to look out for that. And they do not open 24 seven. So please keep that in mind. So maybe you might want to save up some energy for a specific type of protocore. So, so you might want to save up on those energy bottles, those refills, if you really want to focus on one element. Something to note is that in the deep space trial, you can only use the character this is correspondent to. So for example, here, I can only use Zane characters and I can't use any other. So you might want to consider developing all three, but you can do what you want with it because there's also this open orbit, which there's no restrictions on which type of character you can use. You level up your characters by using these bottle of wishes. So when I click on it, it raises this and when it reaches this amount, it increases the level and increases my stats. And you can get these bottles from the heart sand shop, which is when you get duplicates of already maxed out characters. It turns into these heart sands and you can exchange them for resources. There's also other shops that serve almost the same purpose. So make sure to check that out as well, because you can see you can get some wishes, some magnets and some gold here. You can get these by just doing some gacha. And you can see that you can exchange for 5 star, 4 star, and you can choose what you want. So I think this is quite helpful. There's also limited time shop. 
so make sure to use up all of your event tokens before the event ends and if there is some leftover you can just exchange them here for these extra resources for packs if you click on some packs they might provide you with ascension crystal boxes so if you're really lacking on that you can consider purchasing them to help you progress in the story so this is all i have about developing your cards and so this is all so this is all there is to the guide right now about developing your cards i will update you if there's anything new that comes out please feel free to subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video and look forward to more content like this